Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the readings. <laughs> Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading for the month of June 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into this, yeah? All right, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio for the month of June 2018. <laughs> Sorry, I started laughing because um, I was picturing an image. I was just channeling, you know, Scorpio energy and picturing the Scorpio symbol and it just made me laugh for some reason. I saw the, the stinger just start of wagging around. I don't know why that made me laugh. It was funny. But I am picking up on some uh, purple and blue energy for you. Um, there could be new spiritual awareness coming forward. 
there could be a desire to speak some spiritual truth or speak some truth that you have learned about um, through a spiritual endeavor. Mm, yeah. Uh, one more shuffle for you, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right. Underneath the deck, we're starting off with the three of wands. Yeah, so you're embarking on something. You've made a choice and you're moving forward. You're planning, you're moving forward, planning ahead um, to take on whatever it is you've chosen. Um, and that's great. Uh, this could be a project for you, a new uh, passion project. This could have to do with a relationship here because we have the seven of cups in reverse. So I'm picking up like that you're feeling like you're... You're done with all the options. You're done with the illusion. You're done with, you know, um, not seeing clearly is what I'm picking up here. And you have the tower in reverse. So you could be coming, yeah, yeah, you could be coming out of a tower moment here and um, emerging from it as the page of wands, okay? And the page of wands in this situation, in relation to everything that we have so far, this page of wands is talking about a new spiritual awareness. And that was the energy that I was picking up on with this purple energy I was seeing as I was channeling your energies, yeah? So let's move forward and get into the storyline here. We're starting out with the, wow, the Four of Wands. Um, if you're a twin flame, there could be union energies coming around you. Um, but with this tower moment that you're moving out of, Scorpio, there is there's a brand new foundation here for you. And it's a solid and a good one. Okay. Uh, we also have the Nine of Swords. So there could be some of you that are kind of like anxious. Okay. Anxious about um, this new start that you have this new foundation that you're building. I'm also picking up that there's some, some anxiety around um, wanting to have this foundation, uh, even wanting to have union if you're on the twin flame journey and not knowing about how to get it. Not, and it not, not necessarily seeing that it's actually materializing in um, your reality. I'm also picking up that with this tower moment that just, that is you're moving out of Scorpio, um, you're like scared that you may never reach this union. Yeah, that's okay. Let's keep going. We've got the Page of Swords here, coupled with the Queen of Swords. Ooh, so someone could be watching someone else that is a Queen of Swords, um, embodying the Queen of Swords energy. I am noticing that these two are looking away from each other. We could have a bit of a struggle here. We could have one person, so the masculine energy could be embodying the Page of Swords energy, while the feminine energy is embodying the Queen of Swords energy. Um, yeah, that's the biggest thing that I'm picking up on here. The fact that these two are looking away from each other. They're kind of like at odds with each other right now. And this could be why um, you have the Four of Wands here with the Nine of Swords, like anxiety over this, this, um, this foundation that's wanting to be put in place. Um, and what I'm getting here is like the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords, these people are, are coming together like this because of this tower moment. Now, there could be some resistance to the tower moment and that's why someone, I really feel like it's Scorpio that's showing up as the Page of Swords here and the other person they're involved with, <laughs> someone just honked like crazy outside, but that was kind of a little bit of confirmation for me. Um, um, the, the masculine energy in... Well, in this situation with a Scorpio, it could either be the feminine energy or the masculine energy, but, um, and it could either be you, Scorpio, or it could be somebody else in, in relation to you or someone that's cross-watching for a Scorpio. Either way, in this situation, the masculine energy is taking on a page of swords situation or, or reality while the feminine energy is taking on the queen of swords, okay? And this has to do with this tower moment that for the most part is in the process of happening, okay? Moving forward. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So um, this tower moment also has to do with the balance between give and take and understanding that no one's ever going to reach this Ten of Cups ultimate family fulfillment if all sides are not giving and receiving in the situation. All right. This tower moment is helping illuminate that. We have 
the Eight of Swords in reverse, which is good. So you're releasing to yourself from a mental prison. Wow, with the Eight of Wands in reverse. But even though you're move, you're in someone's in the process of releasing themselves from this mental prison, um, they are still not communicating. Okay, um, it, this could also be that someone is really, really stuck. There could be. I, I'm picking up on some other in some other situations. There are people that want to communicate, but are so heavily caught in their um, in their head about something that you know they're not. They feel like they can't. There's a lot of fear around the communication, and when it comes to that, I'm picking up the fact that this fear of the communication could be somebody doesn't know exactly how this conversation, this desired conversation, is going to go which is keeping them in this mental prison, which is then also relating to this four of wands because somebody wants to communicate about something, but the anxiety around the situation of the anxiety of having to have a talk, in a sense, hash it out, is almost too much for someone. Okay, moving forward, we have the magician in reverse with the High Priestess in reverse. So, um, manipulation is the first thing that came to mind when the Magician came out. But also, I'm seeing uh, manifestations that are not actually what you truly desired. And that came about because you weren't listening to your intuition. And now it's all out there. <laughs> that you weren't listening to your intuition. You manifested something that really does not serve you. And you don't know what to do about it. Because what you really wanted, <laughs> what you really wanted is what depicted is what is depicted by this four of wands. But instead of taking this four of wands, somebody went off and decided they were going to manifest something else, some manifest the four of wands somewhere else because what they had in this true situation they didn't feel was right. They got they were up in arms about it. They were being all egotistical about it. They were like, nah, fuck that. I don't need that from you. I can get it from someone else. Well, now what? <laughs> and that could be this tower um, situation. I mean, for the most part, especially with the three of wands, which is upright, I feel like someone, for the most part, people are coming out of this tower situation, but there could still be some resistance. And I feel like that's really why the page of swords and the queen of swords are here like this, looking away from each other. Yeah. Yeah. The Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords could also talk about someone is watching another person that comes across as the Queen of Swords or is embodying the Queen of Swords energy. Moving forward, look at that. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. So a brand new start. Okay. With, ooh, the Ace of Swords right underneath the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords. And it's at, literally, I was just about to say, before I pulled that Queen, I'm sorry, before I pulled the, wow. Sorry about that. I don't know if you heard it, but some sometimes I live in Brooklyn and sometimes people just go uh, horn crazy like on their freaking cars. It's ridiculous. But anyway, the Ace of Pentacles. When I pulled out the Ace of Pentacles and right before I pulled out the Ace of Swords, I heard I was going to say a brand new start once someone realizes how what they have and what they had. And I say have because the Four of Wands is here and it's upright. You still have this connection. You still have this foundation, okay? But someone needs to go through this process when it comes to the tower also. Someone, ah, and that's why the Three of Wands is here. Okay, someone needs to go through this process of realizing that they already had what they wanted. And because they got all egotistical about it, they went ran off and thought they could manifest it somewhere else. They realized they messed up and now they, they have to come back, which is causing all kinds of anxiety. Okay. But the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords here is saying there is a brand new start once someone has an aha moment. Okay. And that's why the Three of Wands is up there because for the most part, as or like for, for this month of June, as you move out of this tower moment, um, you will you will have chosen. You will have be starting to set the plan in motion to get what you want. You will be finally pushing away all these different options with the Seven of Cups and moving towards what you truly desire. Okay, but keep in mind that you cannot have this Ten of Cups until everyone is giving and receiving equally in the situation. Yes, yes. Moving forward, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Good with. The Three of Pentacles. Okay, so not holding on to old shit. 
all right? And moving forward in a, in a way that you can rebuild constructively um, in tandem with someone else, right? The, because the Three of Pentacles is about teamwork. And someone in the past was super selfish with the Four of Pentacles and not really willing to work with anyone else. Or in the sense of this situation, someone was not really willing to be a team player. But now the Four of Pentacles energy is being released and someone is stepping in to be a team player now. And that's good. Finally, Scorpio, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Excellent. With the Page of Pentacles. All right, y'all. So the, 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 the burdens, okay, the ridiculously crazy responsibilities, the weight is being lifted. And now someone can step forward with a new offer materially. And we have the Ace of Pentacles too. So there is a new start coming. All right. Excellent. 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 Yeah, we've got three of the pages on the board here. We've got the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and say that for the most part, Scorpio, someone is watching. The Page of Swords is speaking to somebody is watching another person who is embodying the Queen of Swords energy. Okay. There is conflict between these two. I do feel that there is conflict between these two people. But I feel like for the most part, this is a masculine energy that is watching a feminine energy and trying to figure out. I mean, union is on the mind. Union is wanted. But there's anxiety around it because of the history. And there is no communication with the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Both are in reverse. So there's no communication that someone could seriously be trapped in a fearful energy, in a self-deprecate, a self-fulfilling situation, self-fulfilling prophecy of not being able to communicate because of fear, but also at the same time, someone could be coming out of that, but still not communicating. Okay. Action guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns or Scorpio. June 2018. All right. Excuse me. Okay. So, best guidance for whoo. There we go. We have innocence healer and one more yes one more got it discernment okay uh first we have innocence take time to play nurture your inner child and live with a childlike sense of wonder wonder especially as you are moving out of this tower moment like give yourself a chance to rest and just relax and have some fun yeah don't go overboard, but have some fun. Enjoy yourself. We have Healer. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. And often, healers need to go through some pretty extreme situations, um, which is what the Tower is saying to me, in order to really be able to heal others because of what we learn through those experiences. Yeah? Finally, we have Discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret okay I'm, I'm I'm feeling like I just want to leave that there uh, that's gonna resonate with people and they're gonna know how so I'm just gonna let that go we have some uh, spiritual guidance now from this uh, ooh, wow my ears ringing like crazy um, from the crystal mandala deck now for Scorpio Here we go. One card, please, spirit. Hold on. <laughs> okay. One card, please, spirit. This one. 
Sacred Revolution, Goddess Kali and Black Obsidian. This came out for another sign. Don't remember which one, but it did. Let's take a look at that. Excellent. Card number 46. All right, Sacred Revolution, Goddess Kali and Black Obsidian. We bring you the empowerment of Sacred Revolution. Revolution comes when a cycle of authority or power is ending. It has become inadequate for the task of leadership now required, and a new order must be established in its place. That's right, this card did come out. I don't remember what sign it was, um, but leadership came out with the Oracle of Unicorns. It is not simply a chapter within a book drawing to a close, but an entirely new book, perhaps an entirely new genre, opening up according to divine will unfolding. In such cases, subtle change is not going to cut it. You need radical action to bring about the new order. That new order may be in your world or in your own being. When revolution is sacred, the new order will be that which allows you to become more of yourself to successfully attain your spiritual goals. And I definitely think that's speaking to this tower moment that you're moving out of, Scorpio, or someone around you is. Yeah? All right. There it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I look forward to connecting with you for the month of July. Much love. Take care. And I will speak with you soon. Bye.